Hello everyone, this is Georgia from Over at Cinematography. I recently put together a very basic getting started with Machinima and the Sims 4 guide for Cinematography Magazine. I was asked to put this, to try and put this together in kind of a let's play video to show people hands on how to do many of these things. The article is available for download in the description below because it contains four pages of keyboard commands and cheats. Everything from, you know, how to get your sim into create a sim, to change them to more advanced things that will help you manipulate the motions of your sims. Now, I've never done one of these videos before. Also in the item description, also in the description, I've also included my contact information for anybody that wants to get a hold of me and ask questions because I am horrible about answering YouTube comments and this would just it would just be quicker this way. Um, I've never done one of these videos before and I do realize that my audio quality is crap. I thought that I had it resolved but it still sounds like I'm standing in a tunnel. So just bear with me and we'll get through this and I really hope that this will be something that will be useful to you guys. So let's get started here. I've got four sims here to help us out. Um, the first guy you probably recognize from the Sims promo videos. This is um, Wilson Luchador created by some Guru Lindsay. He's agreed to help us out here. Um, we have myself. This is Ryan, created by um, Peacemaker. You guys probably know him as an awesome a custom content maker for The Sims 3. He's now building beautiful houses in The Sims 4. You guys really need to go find them on the gallery. And this is a Gus Rockman. And as you can tell, the three of us are wearing our spiffy cinematography staff polos that Gus made for us. Um, so um, the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is the game options. Um, when you're recording Machinima, you always want to have it in full screen mode. That will prevent the black of box that you sometimes see around the videos. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave this in window mode just where I can get to um, a fraps and anything else so that I may need while filming this. Um, you're going to want to set your screen resolution up all the way. I don't know why mine was down. Um, all of my game settings are set as high as they will go. I'm not even bothering with laptop mode because I've got a high-end gaming laptop and I don't even need to mess with that because all that it's going to do is lower my resolution quality and possibly make my videos look like crap. The other section I want to talk to you about is the controls and camera. Um, they, they've done this neat thing that they've given us um, the option between using Sims 3 camera and using Sims 4 camera. The big difference there is the Sims 4 camera only gives you the perspective that you're looking out onto the horizon. You'll probably want to go between Sims 3 camera and Sims 4 camera while filming just to get different a different perspective on things. I've always I always use the largest capture size for video quality. I always film uncompressed because some of the video editing software will not read um, the Sims files otherwise. Like if you compress them, they just, they just won't open. For filming machine, you want to turn off your UI. Obviously, we need it on for filming Let's Play video. Um, you'll want to turn off your UI sound. Um, going into music, voices, and sound effects, this is all going to be personal preference based on what you're filming, like your sound effects. This is going to be really cool, especially if you're filming outside. You can catch the sounds of the crickets and the frogs and everything in the background. But the voices, of course, that's going to capture your sims, speaking in simlish, and the music is going to capture your background music. That's all the important stuff there. Let's get started filming Machinima. Um, by now I think everybody knows Control shift c opens your command center to type in your 
Kids. Um, just click it. I guess to close that or escape to close that. You shift click again on your Sims will allow you to um set their needs to high or wherever you need them. Reset your Sim if they get stuck and directly take them into create a Sim without having to go back to the main menu and go to edit households. So you can just and do what you need to do. I hate that hair. Um and just um click the check mark and exit out and it's all good brief loading screen later and we're wow that's loud and we're back to our household i have read and heard a number of complaints about things like how hide headline effects doesn't get rid of the plum bob how we don't have move objects, how we don't have the animation player, how we don't have the pose player, and generally how how not having these things is going to make filming machine mechanisms for relatively difficult. There are a number of ways to get past some of this stuff, and I'm going to start by talking about them. So let's take everybody off pause. Now, like I said, um something I didn't do, which I should do for the sake of this to save my sanity, is turn off autonomy. I am really a big fan of free will with the Sims because so many weird things happen, but filming Machinima, it can't have it. And since we have some thought bubbles here, I want to show you guys something. When you click tab to go into cameraman mode for filming, check that out. They disappear. They're no longer caught on film or in pictures. That's where EA may have left some things out. There are some great features that they gave us, and this one really, really helps out us machinima makers. Okay, so everybody's going to go into the house. Let's yeah, I have my walls down, and you really, really shouldn't film like that. Let's put those up where we can just get into this, into the dining room here. Okay, I have everybody sitting around the table here chatting, and I'm going to show you how to film such a scene and get rid of the plum bobs. What you're going to do, and this is why we have Wilson Luchador here, just click on him. Go into camera mode and check it out. Your plum bobs are gone. So basically, to get rid of your plum bobs, you're always going to want to have an extra sim that you're not filming, that you're not using for anything, just to be in the background to be able to toggle on and off the plum bobs. And as you can tell, Mr. Luchador is over playing chess, which is probably a pretty cool thing for him to do. But the next thing I'm going to talk about is how to get Sims to go where you want them to without the use of move objects. So what we're going to do is we're going to come into the, the other room here and let's flip this around. We are going to have um, Ryan sit down and play Sims Forever. And we are going to have our two other sims come in here and hang out and talk to him. Because now the sims can multitask and they'll be able to talk to Ryan while he's over here setting sims on fire in Sims Forever. So, um, here, ask Ryan about his day. Okay, um, you see... No, I told you to come over here and talk to Ryan. But you see how Gus is looking at the wall here? Oh, she's going to do it from the couch. Cute. No, get over here. Right there. Talk to Ryan. Talk, talk to Ryan. Okay, let's flip the camera around a little bit here. You see how Gus is looking at the wall and she's kind of off to the side where you... Where I don't want them, just you know. All right, that that looks no, nope, still still not right. Um, go here. Now go over here. 
Gas turn around. Yep. Go here. Go here. Maybe that's too close to the the thing. The chair. Go. Go here. There we go. That's pretty much where I wanted Gus. So it's just a matter of playing around, trying to get them into position where you want them. As long as free will is off, it's they're not going to move from that spot. Now let's see if I can get her over here. Go here. Because really that's... Go here. Yep, there goes Ryan setting his Sims on fire. But see, you can still position Sims how you want them and get them in, you know, to do what they want without picking them up. It's it's just going to take some patience, some trial and error, and getting used to routing because, as you've seen with Gus, it's just you're not going to get them any closer. I've brought everybody down to Magnolia and Blossom Park to talk a little bit about emotions and filming in our semi-open, semi-closed world, however you want to look at it. Anybody that's had any experience filming Machinima in The Sims 2 knows how to fake getting around the closed world and making it look like the Sim has walked from their home to the park despite the loading screen. And it's just a bit of trial and error, you know, showing the Sim walking off cutting just right, doing the right transition, going to the next lot, getting the camera angle just right and show them walking in. It, it can be done. It's just going to take some practice. It's been five years since The Sims 2 and a lot of people came in with The Sims 3 and it's just going to be a lot of trial and error at this point for those of you that came in at The Sims 3. So let's spend a little bit of time in the park here. Um, this is a good example of the multitasking that goes on. The one thing that you are going to notice when you've got more than two sims and you want like extra sims in the background is that you can't have a one-on-one -on -one conversation. My sim and Ryan cannot talk to just each other. Gus is there and so it's going to be a group conversation including Gus. There's no way to exclude him. People have found out that if you try to do that the group conversation automatically cancels out the one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, what I want to talk to you about here is how there are cheat codes to manipulate the emotions of your sims to be able to do things that come with those emotions. The first thing you want to do is open your cheat bar and type in testing cheats on. I apologize for the noise that it makes when I type. I know it's horrible and I don't know what to do about it. All the cheat codes are available in the article that is available for download in the description. The, the code that I just typed in was for um, anger. Now, th this is where there's going to be a problem. If you look down here, it says that, that there is an essence of anger brought on by the cow plant. Um, that's because of the particular buff that I use. There, there's two different forms of the cheat. There's one that gives you the essence of the cow plant, which lasts longer, and then there's the regular one. Now, the problem is, is that this playful emotion is overriding it because they go in order here. It's whatever's here is what you are going to initially get and how things are going to be projected. So let's use the cheat to manually remove all the buffs. All right. They're all gone. She's feeling fine. Now let's... um go back and put in the cheat for that angry emotion. I thought if we 
dollar price to There we go. And she's just going to take it out on everyone. So if we put that on pause, we can come over here. And let's see if we can find it quickly. Over here in Magnolia Park is this trash can. It's a kickable trash can. Because we can, now that she's angry, we can have her come over and kick the trash can. I'm going to put this on fast speed to get her over here more quickly. And the trash can is kicked. Now, if you notice, normally after the trash can is kicked, the, the emotion would go away and she'd be back feeling fine. But because we use that cow plant buff, it's going to stay there. So you have to... As I said, you have to put in the code to get rid of the buffs manually. But here, you've got, um, if you click on a sim, you've got other options for angry. Like here, we, um, we're just going to have her yell and scream at this poor unexpecting guy. I don't know, maybe he did something to deserve it. Let's move in here. Put this on high speed for a moment to get her over here quickly. This poor guy never knew what hit him. He has no idea what's going on. Now, let, let's provoke him. Ew, it was red. I want to know what she threw at him. He walked off after getting his butt kicked. Now she's just taking it out on this guy. Has no idea what's going on. Okay, but as you can see, by using it, the, the cheat, you can provoke different emotions and work with it. You know, hey, instead of using your you know what we had as the animation player it might just take a little bit longer because as you seen, you know like everything doesn't come up right away you've got to provoke the fight instead of oh, here's the cheek for fight you know it's remove this buff She went from extremely angry to being in a flirty mood at the drop of a hat thanks to cheat codes. As you know, if you've played with the game, and as you can see here, just evoking the different emotions will change how they act and how they react with people. Where we don't have the pose player, where we don't have the animation player, it's... It's just going to slow, I mean, it, it doesn't make things impossible to do. It's just going to slow down the process of filming 
I hope that this video has shown you that despite not having the tools that we're used to to expedite filming, such as the animation player where we just type in a code and what we need is at our fingertips, that we can still film Machinima in The Sims 4 and we can get what we want, such as a fight, such as a passionate kiss. It just takes a little bit more time because you have to type in the command for that emotional buff and then you have to go through the sequence of events to get to what you need. Again, there is a downloadable document in the description below covering everything that I went over in this video, as well as additional information on things like editing your INI file for video size. There are some links to some mods that are already out, such as a, lot, a mod to improve your lighting, the no sensor mod, um, a mod to unblur everything in the background and the horizon there, a mod to uh, manipulate the time in your game. So go forth, make machinima.